It's just to the north of this little road here uh, of 30. Yeah, it's still on the ground. Oh, no. Still on the ground, about to push into wells right now. It's kind of in a, in a valley, in a mountainous region right now. Here's the uh, estimated location uh, of the tornado. There's wells. There's Algonquin Lake. Uh, wells, uh, Wesleyan Church. I'm going to be in the path of this. It's kind of in a valley near West River Road right now. Uh, and then, yeah, it's approaching quickly. It actually might be a little bit further to the left here. Kind of approaching at this angle. Somewhere in this valley here, approaching Wells City, Wells Edge County Storm, Griffin uh, Road, Wells, uh, Wells, Wellsian Church, or yeah, Wesleyan Church there, uh, the Wells Central School District. You guys all need to be in your safe spots here in along this region as a tornado approaches. And thank you, Maya, for the five. I do appreciate that. Yeah, it's a nasty debris signature. It's about to go right into wells. You can see it very clearly here on the radar below me. That's a debris signature. Uh, it's it's pretty deep. This is definitely a, uh, one of those stronger tornadoes. Oh, yeah. Yep. This is unfortunate. It's definitely uh, a, a larger tornado approaching wells. You know, it's probably pushing a little bit. <laughs> A little bit closer to Wells is this latest scan. Pretty much right in here. Yeah, it's a large debris ball, a deep debris ball approaching Wells. You guys need to continue to be in your safe spots here as uh, this is a dangerous storm. This is a dangerous storm. It's got a tight velocity couplet, and that could be on the stronger side of tornadoes. About to push into Wells. Noticing another area of some tighter circulation over here near Sweets Crossings. Not seeing a tornado on the ground with that yet, but we're keeping a very close eye on it. Also got another supercell forming here south of Mayfield. It will eventually merge with this line that we might have to eventually watch as well. Yeah, that's near kind of north of Amsterdam, New York. Keeping an eye on that area. No rotation that's dangerous yet with that one. But Yep, there you go. A couplet tornado is now in wells. Here's the estimated location. It's pretty much, yeah, it's right here, right in this little inlet. So just pushed into the lake region of Wells. Again, you guys need to be in your safe spots. This is the estimated location, as far as we could tell here on radar. And, you know, you guys are running out of time. This thing is slowly moving like this. It's probably, it's probably near or over the lake now. Just went over the boat launch near Lake House Rental Wells, New York. You guys need to be in your safe spots here as this approaches. This is still on the ground in wells right now. You see very clearly on radar underneath me, there's that debris ball. Velocity couplet is right over this little area here in wells. You guys need to be in your safe spots here. It seems like uh, about once a minute this thing moves. So by the time we get that next scan, Within about three minutes here, it's going to be kind of in the eastern portion of Wells. This tornado warning has been upgraded. Okay, tornado warning has been upgraded. I'm pretty sure that's for this one here. Yeah, that's for this one near Wells. We already knew that. No new information there. Oh, no. Yep, it went directly through Wells. Still on the ground. It's now on the other side of the lake. So it's crossed over the lake. And is now near Wells, Wesleyan Church, uh, Hamilton, Mer, Shanti. Uh, there near the United States Postal Service. And it's just crossed over the lake there. Change the angle here. This just a little bit so we can see these areas a little bit better. But it's just on the other side of the lake now. Uh, after this, there's really not much in the path. But unfortunately, you know, out of all the areas out here, this has made it directly into Wells. And is most certainly causing some damage here. Hey, right, thank you, Chantal, for the 10. I do appreciate that. There's no shelters in the Adirondacks. That's not good. Yeah, there's no shelters out here. Hopefully, everyone's taken shelter. Again, that's the lowest, most interior portion of your house. But, you know, it's kind of pointless to say that again at this point, given the fact that this has already impacted this town. 
Yeah, latest scan puts this velocity signature a little bit further uh, off to the east. So now it is officially in. It's gone through wells and it is now out of wells. Pretty much just to the south of this road. Now into the mountains. There are still some buildings pretty close here on the left side. Kind of going more in this angle here. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be over the mountains here for a while, but unfortunately, Wells did get a direct impact uh, from that tornado. And it was on the stronger variety. Did The velocity couplet, I will say, got a little bit weaker as it went into like eastern Wells. So there might not be as big a damage on the eastern side, but it was definitely a stronger couplet on the western side of Wells. Yeah, that'll be nearly impossible to track now on the uh, tornado simulator there. Given the fact that uh, it's going to be in the mountains and there's not going to be really many roads to uh, to watch there, but I still believe, yeah, this thing is on the ground here. Still heading towards Spruce Mountain, uh, Pine Orchard, uh, Steve Bagel Mountain. 